Well, hey there, I'm Daniel, the Low Budget Outdoorsman, back uh, with you again. Sorry it's been so long. Got the John boat hooked up, and uh, I've been fishing. I just haven't brought you along with me. But today, let's go see if we can catch some John boat bass on Kentucky Lake. Oh, there's a little baby bass. Come in here. There's a little uh, patch of submerged grass there. I saw something bust and fry, and so I assumed there was at least one in there. He might have been the one. Another largemouth here out of these weeds. A little bit better one there. So much fun. Let me tell you, you don't have to have the biggest boat to get out in these bays and these uh, creeks and, and even out there when the wind's not blowing. So I'm going to give this spot a rest, go back that way, and I'll probably hit it up a little bit later. Swallowed it. There we go. This right here with the slip calm conditions. I caught a couple of bass up uh, shallow. The wind died down, so I had to come out here. And uh, I could see them on my Helix 9 unit, which is probably worth more than this entire boat and motor. Um, it's hooked well. And so I saw several fish stacked up there, um, oriented right towards the bottom. Instead of so instead of throwing anything um, lively, I put a yum dinger on a drop shot and slow drug it across there and there we go. Uh, these are post spawn bass coming out and heading out to the deep ledges. This is a pretty communal hole here uh, but it's, I'm actually just far enough off of it where a lot of uh, bass boats come in, they idle around, check their electronics, look over that peanut shaped depression and if they don't see any activity they head back out to the river um, to, to fish deeper out there. Um, but this spot's right adjacent to it in the general area and it's one of the spots I've got 10 or 15 marked on my electronics that the fish stage when they come up out of that peanut shaped depression. We go from about 10 feet to 15 feet down to 24 feet in that, uh, in that depression area. But I'm in 17 to 18 right now on a little hard spot and I saw a lot of bass down there so I picked up a yum dinger uh, put on a drop shot, threw it out there, and second drag across there, caught this 15 inch largemouth. Oh, it came off. Oh, another one. Another one in this crab. Look at this. Look at that. Bit the tail right off the swimmer. 
put another uh, swimmer on and we'll give it a try here in another second. Let me turn this around though so we don't blow up on top of that grass. There we go. There's a decent little bass here. It was fun. I saw it come straight out of the weeds there and strike. Oh, stay down. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Came straight out of those weeds. That's a fun one there. Look at that. Fun sized bass there. This swim bait, the uh, drop shot out there where I caught that one and got a couple other bites. I was just a little too uh, hasty to set the hook on. Um, the subtle presentations are uh, definitely, definitely what they are, are looking for. And this little submerged uh, vegetation here. Uh, that's the third uh, bass we've caught out of that exact type of vegetation. So uh, if you're running the lake right now, that would probably be a good little pattern for the fairly shallow stuff. Uh, we're in six or seven feet of water. sitting on that log right there. Feels like a decent little bass here. He's got some energy. I think it's hooked fairly well. It's got a lot of energy. There we go. Look at that bass. Sitting on the log where he should be. Time to make a move. We'll load up, go to another spot. I'll see you there. And just like that, we're here at the world famous Paris Landing uh, Marina. So let's go out here and fish the uh, wall leading out to the river. It's a little fish, I don't know what it is. Oh, came off at the boat. There's a fish. A little one. Come here, little bass. There we go. Look at that. It's the brown kind. A little bitty small mouth. Crushing the 6XD. That's fun though. You know they're a little different even down here when they hit. They just got a different speed about them. Well, we're loaded up and headed home. Um, but that was a fun day in the little John boat, for sure. For sure. We had a, we caught you know, a six bass or something like that and had several more bites. Had a couple get off and uh, saw three bald eagles, which um, I'm not gonna say I, well, and there's a fox. But I don't, you're not gonna be able to see it with the GoPro. There was a fox right beside the road. Um, I'm not the one who enjoys fishing if I don't catch any fish, because that's not really fishing, I don't guess. But when you catch fish and you get to see some uh, bald eagles, it really does make it a, a little bit extra special. And so, the John boat got it done again today. Praise the Lord for safety and fun and fish and a few bald eagles. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, I know I don't do this as a full-time job, but if you like these videos, please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, share them if you enjoy them. And 
until next time, I'm Daniel, the Low Budget Outdoorsman. God bless.